Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Kiev in the suburb of Obolon. And in this video, I'm going to show you a Soviet relic. During the late 1930s, Stalin was worried that the Germans might blow up the bridges on the nearby Dnieper River. So he devised a plan to have two tunnels built, one in the north of the city and one towards the south. The northern tunnel was intended to stretch from the district of Obolon on the right bank of the Dnieper River to the district of Troyeshna on the left bank. The tunnel was to be dug at a depth of 35 metres below the riverbed and to be around six kilometres in length. Well, the war ended and those tunnels never got finished. And this thing behind me, which kind of looks like a submarine, is all that remains of the northern tunnel. It's actually a case of and the idea was that they would use high-pressured water jets to wash out the earth from beneath it. And the caisson would then sink under its own weight. And then they would use cutting equipment to bore a tunnel hole and they would put kind of concrete things around to strengthen it. And workers got into it from the funnel on top and that could be extended up to the surface. The caisson used to look like this, but is now being smartened up and turned into a cafe. Soon, you'll be able to sip a coffee in a unique piece of history. About 15 miles south of here is the Southern Tunnel. Now, apparently parts of it are still standing, so we're going to go and try and find it. The Southern Tunnel was planned to stretch from Zukov Island in the Holoviski district on the right bank, pass under the island of Vodnikov, before re-emerging on the left bank in the Asorki district. OK, now I'm about 10 miles south of the centre of Kiev, and close by here, about one and a half kilometers, is the Southern Tunnel. Let's go and have a look. I'm getting closer. Google Maps is telling me that it's just down here, just around this corner. And here it is. I found it. This is the entrance to the tunnel. It's actually bigger than uh, I thought it would be. Um, so I'm not sure if this is like where they kind of just finished or because actually another piece down there as well. So the idea here was that up the road there is the mainline train and the idea was that would branch off and then come down here and the trains could then come straight through here and go under the river. And they also had a plan here to they could cover up the railway and then that would allow tanks to go through and um, jeeps and stuff and make it easier for troops to, to get to the other side of the river as well. Of course, they never really got that far. After the war, they picked up the, uh, the construction again, but then I think the Soviets just in the end, they abandoned the project. Too expensive and not necessary, I guess. But it's a shame, yeah, because it would be a huge tourist attraction now, I think. Yeah, rather than just people coming to look at ruins like me. But there you go. I was hoping to go like walk along it and because it goes for something like 700 meters it's like the longest section um, of the tunnel the above ground kind of part um, but there's no way I can cross this swamp I'm going to have a look around the other side and maybe it's possible to to get up on the uh, on the top from the other side but if not then you have to just look at some nice drone footage instead as well as 700 meters of tunnel two caissons were also installed. The tunnel continues above ground before it eventually disappears into the swamp. And now I'm going to go over to the other side of the Dnieper River and over there there are some more remains of Stalin's tunnels. Okay, I'm now on the other side of the river and somewhere around here there's another caisson, like the one I showed you earlier in the park. But this one is underground. So here it is, here is the caisson, I found it. Um, so it's underground, I'm not sure how deep it actually goes. Um, but this is the kind of, I showed you on the other one, yeah, you've got the thing on top, which is where they kind of, the workers used to get in. Um, and the thing about this is because they were working at depths, they had to pressurize it as well. So. Um, you know, the workers could work for a few hours, then they had to come out and change, um, change shifts, change workers, because it was really hard work. So, 
can't go in there obviously but under here somewhere then how deep is a caisson and a bit of tunnel <laughs> Okay, so we're almost finished with our Stalin tunnel tour. Um, the last thing I want to show you is another section of tunnel above ground. I guess this part of the tunnel there, uh, so it kind of joins up with the caisson that we looked at earlier and then kind of gradually goes further underground as it gets to the caisson and then obviously under the, the riverbed of the Dnipro. The tunnels were an ambitious project involving up to 12,000 workers. Ultimately, they were never finished, but the remains are here to be explored. So we'll wrap up the video here, I think. I hope it was interesting for you. Um, if it was, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you soon.